everybody, this is Goddess Kendra. So, this morning, I have somewhere to go in the morning. And I decided I left the house early because you never know how traffic is. And I'd rather be early than late, especially when you have mandated appointments, court, and appointments with your doctors, right? So, I'm sitting in the McDonald's, minding my own business, and I'm talking on the phone to my best friend. I'm like, hey, um what's going on you know he, he was just asking me like why I was frustrated about some stuff you know sometimes I feel overwhelmed and like I hate freaking just like holding things in so as I'm sitting in McDonald's this white man comes up to me and goes you need to sit over there you're disturbing me I said I don't have to sit no motherfucking where I pay for my food shut the fuck up You've been annoying me. You've been disturbing me for 15 minutes. Bitch, I haven't been in here 15 minutes. Shut the fuck up, you think, because you're white and entitled. You can tell me what the fuck to do. Get the fuck out and leave. Shut the fuck up. It's like, bro, back home in Cali, if I were to, if someone were to harass me, if someone would get shot, stabbed, hurt, or whatever the case may be, and Arizona is a state where you're able to, um carry so he's just like get out you're disturbing me I'm like well I pay for my food and I don't gotta go nowhere you could get the fuck out like who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do I'm a grown adult you think what your racist ass that you're entitled to talk to niggas any kind of fucking way that you want to I don't think so it don't work that way for me if you have something I'm entitled to be to do to be free at will and do and say as I please. If I'm not being violent, if I'm not bothering you, why do you feel the need that you have to sit up here, cracker, and um, harass black people for fucking what? Because you're having a bad day, you feel that you could say anything you want to say to people? I have a smart-ass mouth. If you piss me off and I'm upset with you, I will tell you how I freaking feel. Yet again, it goes back to this whole racist system I would call it homosexual supremacy because we know most people that run shit are gay. If you want to know more about knowledge itself, you're going to read the ISIS Papers Keys to Color. This book, I love it. I've been taking my time reading it because um, sometimes it really, really overwhelms me to a point where I become angry. And it's like when you're learning stuff, you have to take it one step at a time. Sometimes I have to get and get my dictionary and look up what certain words mean. They refer certain books to read. But see, the reason why this whole racist system exists is because Europeans know that their, uh, what is it, um, their birth rates are going down. And between the next two to five years in America, you um you guys will be the minorities and your birth rates are low so you feel because you're insecure about your pale white skin most of you guys turn pink when you go outside the one thing i can say as being a black woman is that my beautiful melanin is in the ground is in the, in the sky we are one with nature y'all motherfuckers ain't but y'all feel y'all can say whatever the fuck you want to people see i have a temper i've been working lately on being calm finding like something I like to do one of the things I like to work on is learning how to DJ and remix songs you know what I mean and you know I also do my YouTube thing I upload videos you know my goal is 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized my goal is to have once I get the 1,000 subscribers I'm trying to get 20,000 views per video if you would like to check me out Goddess, G-O-D-D-E-S-S, K-3-N-D-R-A. That's my YouTube handle. You can find me. I have hella good videos. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm so happy. When I first started YouTube, I was very discouraged because I would make these videos and I felt like nobody was watching them. And I'm like, why do I make it? If I would have kept going, I would have been monetized already. But like with anything, things take time. But it's just like with the whole white supremacy system back to that why can't we live in harmony if you a christian if you like black people and you don't that don't have nothing to do with me but why can't we live in harmony with one another because at the end of the day most of us are human everybody's not human because our dna is different for example like they say african people are the only race of people that are 100 percent human then your europeans your caucasoids 
And it's something else somebody told me last night. Y'all's DNA, what they call cave monkeys, has about three to four cent. No, it's you guys are like 93% human, and the rest of your DNA is. Hey, how are you? Oh, that's on another notification. I'm sorry, but a European has our age blood type, which means you have the DNA of a rhesus monkey in the dog. You have, you don't have hair. You have fur. See, people get upset when I, when I explain shit. So when people try to troll me on the internet, or whatever you're saying, I'm gonna tell y'all that's the same thing. The problem is, motherfuckers don't want to hear the truth. But I will never let nobody sit up here and disrespect me. Yes, they say be the bigger person. But if I'm just sitting here at McDonald's eating my fucking food, why do you feel the need you have to talk to me any kind of way? Because honestly, I would have smacked the straight shit out of that motherfucker. But the only reason why I didn't is there are cameras in here and I have to be at court at 9 o'clock. So sometimes you have to be the bigger person. But I will tell racist motherfuckers how I feel. Get the fuck out of my face, y'all want to hate us because we're black or a stereotype but y'all don't talk about the culture vulture shit that you steal from us the shit that you do to us constantly and all the time and you want to act like we're the problem when you created the problem because you brought crack into the community you kill most of the black panther party um you stole wick and welfare from us and if we want to talk facts there's more europeans on goddamn um welfare than it is black people but y'all want to get mad y'all have an idea of what a beautiful woman is supposed to look like you look at black china and all these fake body bitches that get plastic surgery black china's ass is all saggy and shit like let's be real but people like me that speak the truth most of y'all don't fucking like us because y'all sensitive about hearing the truth. It is my job to wake up the masses. It's my job to educate people. Again, if you want to learn about this, please read the ISIS papers, the keys to the colors by Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. You will learn a lot of shit. But we need to grow. Like, I feel if white people really felt sorry for slavery and racism, they would change their white privilege and the benefits they get from being white, meaning, i.e., None of y'all ever paid the man who created Jack Daniels. His family don't get shit but a slave over stone the recipe. We patent shit and y'all, we don't patent shit and y'all steal our shit. But y'all all day don't fucking like black people. But you want to get a tan so you're darker. You want to get extensions in your hair so your hair's thicker. You want to get lip injections, cheek implants, ass implants, titties to look like a thick black chick. But you don't like us? That's some dumb ass shit like, oh my gosh, that shit is fucking stupid, dog. Y'all want to sit here and be fucking disrespectful to people when someone like me will tell you to go fuck yourself and shut the fuck up. You want to get mad and shit. Like, you started it. I tell people, if you don't start with me, I won't start with you. There are days, yes, where I'm very agitated and I don't fucking want to hear shit. But I'm a good person on the inside. If I love you, I love you hard. And I'll always have your back. But I will not let my manager, no racist motherfucker, no entitled motherfucker sit up here and disrespect me. I don't give a fuck. If you have a problem, what are you going to do about it? But motherfuckers want to be on some disrespectful shit. I'm so sick of that shit. You're not going to sit here and disrespect me and talk to me crazy and go tell me to sit somewhere else. Motherfucker, I pay for my food and I sit where I please. Now, it's different if I was like, uh, uh, being loud. I was not. I mind my own business. Majority of people I don't like because most people you can't keep it real with. Most people can't have a real conversation. It's all about fuck, fuck shit on a daily basis. So I'm not trying to hear none of that. I'm going to sit my ass down, stay in my place, and do what I need to do and do the things that make me happy. But like I said, racism goes back to white annihilation. They know that eventually there probably won't be no more Europeans because your birth rates are low as a motherfucker. Y'all have tried to kill black people off for hundreds of years, and it's just crazy. Oh, let's let's read something so I can share a little bit of something. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go a little bit more back. I'm a, I'm gonna read an insert from the book. 
Oh, this is what I was looking for. So Dr. Francis, Dr. Francis Chris Wilson talks about um, the Bible and Adam and Eve. So I'm going to read a little bit. It says, major evidence for the theory of albinoism whiteness is founded in the symbolism of the Adam and Eve biblical mythology. Western civilization looks to this mythology in the book of Genesis as an account of its beginning. The, the essential elements of the Adam and Eve story are that Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, ate the forbidden fruit, the apple, had sexual intercourse, became ashamed of their nakedness, and were chased from the Garden of Eden. My decoding of the fundamental mythology and symbolism for Western civilization is as follows. Adam and Eve are a symbolic figure of the early albino mutants produced by black parents. The Garden of Eden is Africa, the place where all known knowledge and anthropologists and paleologists are informed us that human life began and that the first human beings were black skin. The apple eaten by Adam and Eve is a presumed orally ingestion of poison, looked upon as a cause of the mutation to albino. The in ingestion was followed by the act of sexual intercourse, which is always viewed as being responsible for the mutation to the albino. Oh, the mutation to the albino was and therefore the original sin. Adam and Eve's shame for their nakedness indicates their rejection and shame for their pale white bodies, colorless and naked. When compared to the black and brown skin normals, their usage of the fig leaf to cover their genitals as they are depicted implies the shame and rejection of their genital, including their genes. Thus, explosion from the Garden of Eden represents the isolation of the albino mutant away from the skin pigment normal and their voluntary or involuntary migration out of Africa, out of Africa north or to Europe. Western culture goes further in their symbolism of its religious philosophy to pinpoint the eating of the apple by Adam and Eve, followed by the, their act of sexual intercourse as the act of original sin. Because of this, because of the act, Western culture conceived it as its being as people born into sin and in need of being born again. Similarity, there are several other biblical references to color, skin color change through God's punishment and leprosy, where in the skin, where in the skin is described as being white as snow, 2 King 5.27. Of course, the further implicates is that the skin originally must have been black, meaning melanin pigmented. Otherwise, how could it turn white? Numbers 12, 10 states, And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses also, My Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. So that's just my little take on sharing a little bit of knowledge with you guys. But I did, I did not like that that man was trying to talk fucking crazy to me because he feels white and entitled. Get the fuck away from me! I wasn't being loud and I wasn't getting on nobody's nerves. Fuck that dude. Well, thank you for viewing. Have a nice day.